Okay, what up, people? Today, uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who joined the Patreon. I think we had like 90 people right now in two weeks, so that's pretty good. Uh, shout out to everybody who joined the Discord, uh, helping each other out. Really appreciate it. And uh, shout out to everybody who joined and subscribed on the YouTube. If you're not subscribed on YouTube, I don't know what you're doing. You're missing out. Um, I do a lot of comfy UI stuff. So if that's something that interests you, just sub and you'll see every video whenever they pop up. Okay, uh, this workflow today, AI influencer. Uh, you'll be able to generate the face of your influencer and then use that uh, through the IP adapter to create um, basically your content if you want to use that for social media for whatever you want to do really uh, it's basically a workflow for a consistent character so um, anything you want to do it should work and here we do some upscaling and here are the emotions so I'll go through uh, every part a little bit more in detail. There will be a paid version of this workflow. Um, I think my time is worth something, so I'll, I'll do a paid version with more options, but you'll be able to do everything with the free version, which is gonna be more in the paid version, okay? So yeah, that's what's up. Let's get started. Okay, so for the first part of the workflow, um, face generation, pretty simple. Here, just load whatever checkpoint you want. Uh, just make sure it's SDXL and realistic. Um, here for the portrait master, you can basically choose every single feature of uh, your influencer. Um, the eyes, the hair, the whatever you want, you can do it here. Or you can choose to use your own prompt. Uh, you just want to make sure you plug that into the positive and you will be good to go. Um, here, resolution. Um, I use that. You can choose whatever you want. For the batch size, I say four because I want have I want to have the choice between four different faces. Um, the settings will be settings for the model you choose those settings work with most models but they might not work with the model you chose so uh, just make sure the settings are right here I'll just lower that down a little bit I'll just run it um, and explain the rest uh, in the meanwhile so the first pass here is just generating the, the, the four first faces and this is upscaling, so it makes the image bigger, adds a little bit of detail, and then we run into the face detailer that's gonna add way more detail. Um, after that part, you can choose whatever face uh, you want, and it will get pushed to this part, which is basically um, the scene creator. So we'll be able to basically make your content if you want to use this for social media this is what this is where it's going to happen um i'll use a blue dress just to change um just to change that here we are done so we can choose the face we prefer i'll use this face for the video um this will be saved here we can just progress the selected image get pushed here and we will have um, our thing here I changed the, the, the prompt after I started the queue so it's not gonna register that I said blue if I queue it again it's gonna register um, here we're doing six images at once um, if you get an out of memory error just lower that down and you should be fine um, so just waiting a second Boom. Okay, so we have um, our influencer in uh, this setting that we chose here. So we said a high quality image of a woman posing for a photo in front of a store during the day, and she's wearing a red dress. And this is what we got. So here I'll just choose, uh, let's say, this one. So let's say I want to post this one on Instagram, I just choose it progress it 
and it'll go it will go through another face detailer then get upscale and then add a smile to the face this is not needed but i think it's a nice add uh, because you can't really do emotions with the prompting so doing this will be uh, probably probably your only way to add emotions to your influencer so this is the workflow uh, as you can see it's pretty straightforward there's nothing crazy in here um, most of the nodes are native so you won't need to install a lot of custom nodes and a lot of models I'll make a zip file with those two models in there you'll just need to drop them in the good spot in Confi UI uh, in your Confi UI installation and you'll be good to go I won't I won't uh, put the checkpoint because it's way too big but aside from that uh, this is the workflow I hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions or anything like that just let me know in the comments or patreon or discord and uh, yeah for the paid version uh, I'll add a couple features I'll probably add something to fix the ends and uh, I'll do a flags version as well uh, I won't release it now but there will be a flux version that's gonna be even more realistic so yeah that's what's up um, appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next one peace